Well, here we go. Here we go, starting on Bonzini. I'm the so Romanians nervous. are getting loud. The I can't Americans believe how nervous loud. I am right now. Okay. So I'm, exciting. Oh, oh. So on the left-hand side, we have Anna playing forward and Katty playing goal. On the right-hand side, we have Hannah, who has the ball right now, shooting her snake. The block by Katty. Hannah will get another shot. And Sullivan Rue is playing goal there on the right-hand side. Looks like Hannah's going to play forward on Bonzini. This is ball in and out. It's Quick's point. What people should know about Hannah is she's a competitive softball player. She plays on teams in, in a really in, intense competitive environment at a high level. So she's used to team competition. And uh, she's been unfazed so far at this World Cup. This is sneaky, her. so sneaky. Yeah, that's on a style. Can we wipe the table a bit yeah. here and, yeah. and especially there? Yeah. Kathy's trying to get some table maintenance here. Mm -hmm. uh, Kathy is uh, the current number one doubles player in the world, and she ended last year as the number one singles player in the world as well. So she's Kathy, very strong. Number one doubles and singles? Yes. We're looking at the number one and two seeds here as well. Yes, yes, yes. I know with it in her own goal, but she looks unfazed. What we one Laughing. thing we have seen down here in the pity area is that if you lose the first game on your home table, it is a mountain to climb. You're going to see a lot of aggression on the American side. You're going to see a lot of brute force on the American side. I'm getting the sense that Anna's more on the crafty side, yes. more on the clever um, mm -hmm. style of play. Yeah, she's a very intuitive player. She sees a hole, she takes it. She's not trying to show you how good she is. She's just trying to put the ball in the hole. I like that style. Mm -hmm. I played with Anna at Bonzini Worlds this year. Nice pass, uh, just short of catching it, and Sully just short of scoring that point. Yep. This is another pass attempt. This is Hannah Smith's first multi-table tournament oh. ever. And it's just having fun. <laughs> it's yeah. just, just laughing. Beautiful defense there. Yeah. But getting a, another possession. And Hannah is fiery. She's gonna, you're going to hear her. Yes. Rebound back into the goal. I think Na Hannah needs to slow down. So that she can yeah. see what Katty's doing on defense. She's been shooting rather quickly. This is an exciting year for both Katty and Anna, not just because they're in the final here, but because they're actually on Team Romania. This is the first year that they've fielded a women's team. So she fl she flubbed that one and is giving Katty another opportunity. And if Katty's the number one. Kathy being the number one player in the world, um, you'd expect her to be dangerous and crafty, having all the pieces back there, and maybe being the difference at some point. She I think one, um, one key difference for the Americans is that we're, we're used to being very aggressive against yeah. a two bar on, uh, on every table. Yeah, and you and can't be that aggressive, can you? So well, no, 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 I think, I think it's, um, it's going to make Katty a bit uncomfortable. She's not going to be able to clear as well. That's so that's so sneaky. She had it in the pin. She she is just taking what she sees. Uh, Clay Toomey is asking about the list for the number one in the world. Um, that's at tablesoccer.org. You can see the world rankings. They have a Garlando at home too, so they're used to practicing multi-table all the time. So I'm not. I'm not surprised that Katy has made it here. She wants it, and she's been working very hard to get there. Hannah and Sully both have all the tables almost at home. Um, Sully doesn't have a Roberto Sport. Um,
but neither neither one of neither one of them have the new Bonzini. It's four and to four. Finally got one in from the three bar snake. What we have it's a repetitive three theme. If you've been on the chat, you've heard me say it. If you've not, if you're new to the chat, holding serve on your home table in the first game Good steal. is Wonderful critical. Steal. Beautiful lane pass. They have a timeout left. She goes poolside, and what a block yeah, by Kathy. Kathy seems like she's sitting in the middle and, and moving fast, but, ooh. Yeah, Kathy, Kathy is very good at doing a race defense. Annie, Anna. Uh, Sully with that block. And she contained the ball, too. Oh. And gets it oh, up to block. Hannah. Oh. With an opportunity to put it away. Let's see what, Canty's not just moving mindlessly. She's probably leaning more one side to the other, but Hannah's going pull side, push side, pull side, push side. I think Hannah hasn't gone uh, far push side yet. Push side's been more shallow. Um, Fuzrat says the French player is raising her. That's a Romanian player. Katarina Zerbalescu <laughs> is Romanian. U U.S. doesn't care. They're all French. Um, and Chase Pennell um, has goal. told us that H Hannah does have a new Bonzini now. That's right. Um, but she only got it a couple of weeks maybe before this competition. So she hasn't really had time oh, to, to Another play opportunity. On it. There's a timeout left. Mm. Let's see. Hannah does. Yes. It wasn't in. There was metal there for sure. No, uh, it wasn't maybe it. Not. It was Whoa. the middle of the guy that you heard. Wow. Yeah, yeah this is this is another thing. Hannah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna leave it to the officials that are have a bird's eye view. <laughs> no, nah, it was it was it, for people who've seen enough Bonzini, that was clear. Nice! And Anna. And Anna. Okay, can you make a living off that? Can you make a living off that kind of um, uh, pot shot hustling play? Maybe you can. She they got past Lily Andres and mm -hmm. and uh, Mylin. Mm -hmm. So pressure okay. back on the American team. Yeah. Beauty. Nice middle from Sullivan Rue. I think Kathy's race defense is going to be difficult. It's not going to be effective on Tornado because Sully's so fast. Well, if you knew Sullivan Rue was coming to this tournament, mm -hmm. you, hopefully you're watching some film on the push shot because yeah. you're probably not seeing a ton of push shots to begin with. And uh, Sullivan is a beast. Mm -hmm when she gets on a roll especially. She has extra adrenaline for this match. So she might need to settle down a little bit, but if she gets into a groove, it'll be lights out with a scoring. Yeah. I think um, Kathy, Kathy certainly has studied Sully's game, but it's hard to tell the speed when you're watching Through a video. video. Yeah. yeah. And I had a great block there. Sends the ball off the table. Katy did have a tornado at home for a while, and she lives with a really good tornado player, Rich Marsh, her boyfriend. She looks good with their shooting and mm -hmm. ball positioning. Yeah. Beautiful pass. Yeah. Fortunate bounce there. Mm -hmm. If you've been watching, and if they've been watching other people who people have beat Sully this weekend, they're talking about her. They they have some ideas of how to deal with her. Yeah, absolutely. A nice pass by Anna Bobe. She sets up the snake. No! They've been practicing nice on one of their Romanian teammates' tables. Um, Ciprian, he owns a tornado in Romania, and they've been going over to his place to practice. Sully, quite a Sully. Bit. 
slowly with that quick moving push shot. She can get away with it a lot because her five bar is so good. Use check shots and then return with an option later like the moving split or the quick straight. But it does add an element, a totally different dimension when the pressure is back on you to win on your table. It, there's extra pressure because you got to go, you know, what's looming is going back to the competitor's strong table. So you feel that burden. I got to win on my table. Sully, with the with great the defense. Oh, oh. So that was the right pick. She just hit the corner. Didn't execute it well. He went off the corner of the wall and mm -hmm. came back. You can feel the tension. It's mm -hmm. they're tight. They're tight right now. Mm -hmm. They're not totally comfortable. I think the most interesting, the most loose, comfortable person on the table right now is Anna. Mm -hmm. She's just kind of freestyling, doing her thing on yep. the three bar. That's smart. Oh, that was the right choice, too. That pull side was there. She just missed it. Mm -hmm. Hannah's doing some smart things. We talked about after her match when they squeaked by. She wasn't clearing that well. We talked about other types of that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Give Sullivan an opportunity to fight for the ball. Just get the ball across the table. Yeah, Anna has a good zone, and she's fast. Um, so I think <laughs> forcing mistakes like that is good on this table they're switching on tornado and that may be see that may be a thing we see when we see Anna go back to forward on Bonzini but for now yeah um, that's what I'm expecting to we talk about the fundamentals of goalie play keeping the ball in your area and clean and clearing the ball just like that get the ball I across mean, the table ball. don't you don't need to play her hero ball and that's a beautiful nice. shot That was the right kind of shot to do on Anna, right. I think, after she Look she at Anna's smile. Smitten. Anna's got a smile on her face. She's just happy to be here. Yeah. There's a there's a positive and a negative to that. The yeah. positive is that she's loose and she's smiling and she's engaged and three bars flowing a little bit. The negative is you can't just be happy to be here. It it's not good for American women because we don't have as many um, opportunities in the U.S. to go to ITSF ranked tournaments, but for Europe it's pretty it's pretty accurate. Like the, the people who are at the top are the people that should be at the top. So they put that one on goal. Oh, brushy. I don't know if she meant it, but it was sweet. And, and Hannah has it on her three bar now. Rooney Foos, that's what I did. <laughs> That feels like the right shot. It feels like that push side is there. But Caddy's so dominant on our defense right now on Bonzini. Yeah, I think Hannah needs to slow down, try to add in some fakes. Like super tricky, right? She has the ball in the middle. She hits it with the first man. Is she, yep. let me ask you this. Is uh -huh. she feeling it? Is there any calculus to it? Is she guessing a little bit? Does she have a feeling for? Uh, Are you talking about Hannah? Anna? Anna just shot um, a, with the first man. I think she, she sees the hole. She she's she's not analyzing, but she's she, feeling it she has yeah. a good eye. Yeah, she has a good feeling for when stuff's going to work and when it's going to be open. Absolutely. That reminds me of Lewis Cartwright's defense from the 90s. It feels like they're everywhere at once and you just have to take a deep breath and sometimes a hard tap or a hard fake freezes the defense. That may be yeah, something exactly. they want to discuss. It's hard. It's hard to. Um, it's hard to do a tap on Bonzini because it's so heavy. Oh, I see. Um, but they, she could hitch. She could certainly hitch. Yeah, see, that was pretty. Mm -hmm. That was super pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Clay is saying Katie is straight up racing Hannah's roller, and that's that's true. That's why I think. Hannah should uh, should hitch with her shot. See see how Katie's moving. See if she can take her off the hole. Hannah with the block. Maybe this was the right switch. 
Let's see what Sully does. Yes, and Sully she gets it. it. Yeah, right. Yes. Maybe this will be the difference. Sully shooting better Ready? Yeah. from the three bar. Give Ch if Sully a chance to fight for it. But I, I love the way Anna plays. I like her. She's just like a little sneaky. Where this may end up catching up to them is the five bar has been impre impressive more or less. Like sometimes the pass looks sweet. Um, it, it's not super sharp on the five bar, but she compensates with. Yeah, she, and she gets shot the a five ball. bar shot. Was it a five bar shot? Yeah, I just saw? it was a five bar shot. And it, she she she'll pick up the ball a lot too, because of her like natural style. And see there, she took a bit more time. Nice. Now she if she starts getting conventional on you. Mm -hmm. She, you know, she has all this tricky stuff and then starts shooting the, the oh, another five bar shot. <laughs> you know, it's funny, something you said earlier. Ooh, oh, what a beauty. Nice, two nice. bar, Hannah Smith. So Anna and Kathy beat Lily Andres and Mylin to get here. And you said that her style would be irritating for them, and I could yeah. see why. Because oh, yeah. if you're a highly calculated, um, highly uh, methodical player, and then you got this um, player in front of you that just kind of feels her way around the hole mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, does whatever, she, you know, just has that sixth sense of the ball and where the position's going to be. Yeah. It can be painful. Yeah, if there is, if Lily comes back and watches this one, one piece of advice that I would give her is to work on um, her anger during matches because I, I think that's one of her weaknesses and I think that they, that Anna cool. and Lily Andres like she she can let these negative emotions get the best of her and I, I think Anna and Katy capitalized on that in the last match. Now a player like Anna, who's capable of doing anything at any time, first man. Second man, dink splits, reverses. Mm -hmm. It totally keeps you on your toes. Ready? Ready. And now we're going to a critical fourth game on Tornado. And if this game is one, we go to a fifth game where they're going to swap. Mm -hmm. This, are, this feels are. like all of Europe versus all of the U.S. cheering right, right now. <laughs> There are no excuses here in the pits during a world championship. There are no excuses. If you don't play well on the opponent's table, uh -huh. you're going to lose. Yep. They'll play you on your table, you lose. Mm -hmm. And there That's is the block. block. And that was almost a straight race. That was almost a straight race. Yeah. Kathy's setting up a pin shot on Tornado. It'd be interesting to see if she tries banks. I think that would be a good strategy. No. What a block. Um, people who are saying that there seems like less of a gap on Bonzini are wrong. Uh, that's not, that's absolutely not true on Bonzini. There, there's, there are clear, um, clear, like, Tony's, Ryan's of Bonzini. But it is different. It's a different skill set than Tornado. Yeah. Nice shot. shot from Hannah Smith. From what a the shot. Back, opening up. Game number four. Sully very thankful. That was a good grab from Sully. It looks like the two dots open. Straight two dot. Yeah, it, the, the, the split's got to be, is going to be there. She's got to believe in it. Because mm -hmm. she's um, yeah, she racing she out there. Oh. That was a good pass from Kathy. Oh. Those are the kind of mistakes you can't make. Uh, that went through Sully's five bar and through Hannah's goalie area. But she makes up for it with a block.
pass attempt picked up by Sully. Fortunate. And shoots a push kick for it. This is still the split. It was the three quarter split. Nice. Oh, what a break to make it two to one. Anna's like, <laughs> Anna's like, if we get if we get any points on this table, that's fine. Just get me back to my table. I want to remind everyone on the chat that the World Cup is a celebration of the unity of foosball. <laughs> No, not when you have alpha male testosterone seeping through the chat screen. It's about whose table is more difficult, whose table is better. Oof. Yeah. About I mean, to make it. Like, I honestly believe that, that Tornado is the best table, and I have, you know, evidence to back that up. However. What's the evidence that Tornado is the best table, by the way? What's the evidence? Do you, you think it's better than Leonhardt? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because, because there are different there are so many different winners on Lee and Hart, and why is that? I don't know. Why That's hasn't why hasn't the cream risen to the top more on Lee and Hart? It's, it's not because of the players; it's because of the table. Huh? That's my interesting. Yeah. Um, and but that's not that particular thing is not true for Bonzini. There, like people have risen to the top of Bonzini, and there's a clear distinction. Um, but I don't think that tables, like if you were to design a competition table, you would never design it that way. Um, but I do think that the new surface makes it better. There's the three-quarter oh, split. Yeah, there it is. There that it was is. the split. That's what she needed. And tell about Ulrich. <laughs> oh, well, Ulrich. <laughs> there's Ulrich, and then there's the other one. The, what was the one in Asia the that uh, everyone loved? We didn't get okay. to see much of uh, Guardian. Guardian. Yeah, I don't know anything about that one. People love that table. The, um, the goalie on Ulrich goes past the goal, and that bothers me so much. I don't understand why that's the case. But to focus back on the match, see, I'm the one that went off the topic this time. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you're, you're, Look oh, at that pass. A beautiful that pass. Beautiful. One of the things we talked about was clearing. Hannah did not clear the ball well in the, in the quarterfinal. Mm -hmm. She didn't clear the now. She's uh, pulling out all the stops, and it's, uh, it's great. I think people in the chat are talking about Europe, and they're talking about the U.S. without having actually played in both. <laughs> Or played much Which in is really funny play. for me because obviously. <laughs> yes. Right, that was nice. Four to one. I'm clearly biased. Clay, Clay has a really bad analogy that's funny, but it's bad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Clay's analogy about a boxing ring is actually entertaining. I'm clearly biased in this match. I want the U.S. women to win, but I, I really, truly love and respect the Romanian players a lot. They're good friends of mine. I'm trying to not be so biased and yell when the Americans score. I feel like it's okay for me to be biased as long as I say it, right? Wow, that was a pretty little <laughs> pass. It was like a bounce angle up pass. You don't see that one much on Tornado. And nice job, Kathy. Push side, making it yeah. four to two. Switching back for defense. Yep. That, was, that was smart. Oh, almost a steal. If she'd had a little bit more table time, she would have got that ball. So we go into a, if she scores this, we go into a kind of overtime. Bravo. Dang, that's Not there. Caddy's not going to make it that easy. That is a near race. Mm -hmm. That is a near race. Caddy's very fast. And, um, you know, what Soli has, I believe, is the pick up the man straight, the moving straight. And, of course, she has that three-quarter split. But she's got to shoot it. She's got to believe in it and shoot it. This chat is making me want to go on the radio show at some point that I'm not actually in Europe. So that's a re reasonable time so that I can talk about the differences between the U.S. and Europe well, and all the tables. Well, it's funny because people have all these opinions and they don't really play on the tables. So that's I mean, what I'm saying. Yeah. They're just different. The people need to accept the tables are different. And there's 60 years of Bonzini play and experience, and it's a different this table they have. People have their Good biases. Call, Sully. Um, but some of it is 
I mean, she's, she has to be fast to do it, and she has to see when Sully's shooting. So there's a race element to it. As it's well. it's deceptive. Yeah. Oh, but she Sully went was faster she that went one. Here we on go. One. Here we go. We're gonna go one, two, Ooh. two, 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 two. Start on yeah. Bonzini. So a one ball. It's two infinity, right? Yeah. It's two, two, by two. <laughs> two infinity and beyond. So yeah, it's a two time. infinity and beyond. So you get to five you. first before your opponent, but if it's four four, it's win by two. And there's two Brits in the front row. Yeah, there so on the on the side supporting Romania, you've got the entire Romanian group plus some Brits plus some Bulgarians. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a lot of love for the, for the Romanian team. They they Kati has played so much in Europe. She's she's well loved this side of the pond. Now this is the first time Sully started the forward on Bonzini. She switched the last time. But this is the first time she has a Bonzini at home. So she may Sully may be able to take control. Yeah, and that we'll explains see. why she'd be playing because she's it's hard to get the set it's hard to get a set on bonzini mm -hmm. so that may explain why they had hannah shooting a rollover yeah hannah scored w better um against other people on bonzini oh <laughs> block back toward the goal and yeah I, I imagine that's going to happen a lot, but Hannah's fast. Oh, bank attempt, far Ooh, wall. Just, just in the corner. <sighs> Five bar shot. <laughs> She's so scrappy, man. Yeah. Hannah just gets all these. So just, uh, I'm trying to compare her to it was another fun player. playing with her, too. <laughs> um, Ruben Heinrich, this is how he basically won yeah. the World Singles yeah, Championship, Heinrich, is all these similar. little pickups and stuff. We have a nice view of yeah. the refs there. That's Maria Potter. Uh, doing time for Oliver Schlanka, both from Germany. She goes wide of the goal. It couldn't be easy. It had to be this way, you guys. These teams are playing the tournament of, tournament of their lives. Oh, oh. she shoots a short circle. Wow. Oh, that was and Hannah nice. got it. A nice shot from Katty. Dropped oh. another pass. I think Sully's Dangerous the ground pressure. here, everybody. Dangerous ground. Oh. Time out. Clutch. The Americans are cheering for the Americans. And I think most of the Europeans are cheering for the Romanians. Rattles it in. 3 0 lead back to Bonzini. This is getting hairy for the Americans. The French commentators are. Excited to say, <laughs> say the least. He's got his hands on his helmet. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Don't count the Americans out. They're crafty. They're certainly champions. But in this situation, I think Katy has the experience on, because it's multi table. Sully's fighting as hard as she can, though, on that five. Good shot. Give Sully a chance to fight for it. Yeah, she's trying to clear That middle to the man three. lane pass. Oh, oh just that was missed. Good. Yeah, but. Oh. Yeah, Sully, Sully did good keeping the ball away from Anna. Blocked it twice. Yeah. You just got to get that. Possession. You just got to get a set on the ball. If you shoot a, shoot a set shot, you know, the ball moves around on you. Yeah, it's, she needs um, to take her time setting it up. It's just difficult. Kaji's going to make her work for it. You need to set it up, take your time. It's really difficult for them to generate offense. Mm -hmm. And you know, that kind of says something. Mm -hmm. It's difficult for them to generate offense on Bonzini. It's easier for the opposing team to generate offense on Tornado. Yeah. Does that kind of tell a story about mm -hmm. which table's easier to score? Yeah, I think, well, I think someone in the chat said Tornado is easier to play on, and I agree. Tornado is easier to play on than Bonzini. If so you've never, if you've never. Um, Time out. That was nice. She's Here played in Vegas. You know, the clear differentiator here is Kathy's defense. Absolutely. She's an incredible defender. She's 
world class. Pretty much shut them I mean, down on Bonzini. This is why she, that's why she's number one. Wow. It's good that Hannah threw in those fakes. I think she needs to rely on it more on Bonzini, though. Hannah loses the Opportunity ball. to go forward to zero. Oh my gosh, she got it. Is it one point away from the world championship? Yes, it's it's championship point. It's world title point away for Ekaterina Sobolescu and Ana Bobe. Okay, they're leaving it up to Sully. It's not game over until they've scored that fifth point, but it's not looking good for the Americans. I would not love to see a five. Are they supposed to be a tornado to right now? No, they've only scored one on Bonzini this this time. And she races her out there. Caddy mm -hmm. is single-handedly dismantling the Americans. And oh, Diana's great, chance. don't get me wrong, she's doing what she needed to do. But <laughs> it wasn't a goal. There's a distraction, I guess. Yeah. I guess you can't scream and scream and scare everybody, no matter who you are. Oh, yeah, they must. They thought Anna had scored and got excited. <laughs> Doing anything now to try to generate offense, not working. The Americans are just um, unable to get through Katy's defense. And you know, credit the Romanians with being scrappy and crafty and outplaying the Americans on their tornado table. When it mattered. Yeah, when that it mattered. That fifth game. Save they, they saved some stuff. Katy saved that two bar shot for that match. When it pull comes shot. to defense, Katy is shoot very a pull shot. analytical. Yes! Nice. Yeah, shoot a pull shot. Shoot a pull shot. Now they're back on tornado. Anything it this takes be, to get a point here. This could be a moment, a moment for them to start to come back. Let's see, they gotta keep out the slot. Oh, Katy's starting forward too. So the, the Americans need to get pick up two points here. Yeah, I think Anna's gonna be easier to score on. Um. Nice pass. Yeah. Wow, is this going to be a 4-4? Get it to 4-4, and then it goes to overtime, right? Yeah, yeah. They're fighting. It's good steal. Sully. Yeah, she scores a lot. From a 4-0 to 4-3, back to Bonzini. What are they doing here? I How think, do they I set? Think, I think Kaji's plan was it doesn't matter if they score those two points because they still need to score on Bonzini. Yeah. That was Kaji's thought. And, she and the thought, Americans have used their second timeout. Very it's all of Europe versus the, the small little country called the United States of America. Yeah, I don't think uh, Rubax Grietzel says dumb switch. I don't think it was. I think it was calculated. I think Katy. She tries to shoot a five bar shot to win the match. She oh. doesn't care how it goes in. That's what. Um, that's when it comes to bite you. If you're all feeling, oh, it's gonna go to overtime. <laughs> don't count your chickens. <laughs> She's got to score it. Come on, Sully. Oh, and it's angled back. Uh, Anna unable to connect to her three. Oh, this is crazy. So nervous. Oh, blocked by Kathy. Yeah, Hannah with it on Cole. Oh, oh what a pass. Oh, They have a wow. timeout left. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they do have a timeout left, but Anna's not going to take it. Oh. <laughs> I can't stand this. Oh, oh. I can't stand this. I can't, stand, <laughs> no, right? I can't do I'm like this. Crawling out of my skin. I don't care who wins, but I just can't <laughs> just do get this. Get it over with, no, not. I it's can't not. do this. Nana still smiling. <gasps> wow. There it is. Oh. It's oh. over. Oh my God, I'm so happy for her. Oh my oh gosh, Katy. She did everything.